Hello everybody, it's Marion from Wool Thread Paint here. This is a little video demonstration of how to make the edging stitch for the Paprika Baby Blanket. The pattern for this blanket is in my Etsy shop and um, it's a very straightforward uh, little blanket with this edging stitch called Crab Stitch which um, in some respects is easier to show you than to explain um, in the pattern. So what I've done is I have done um, three rows of um, stitching to, to give me a kind of striped edge. I've done a row of uh, treble crochet, a row of half trebles and another row of trebles. Uh, that's double crochet in US terms. Now keeping it to the UK terms I'm now going to do my crab stitch. Now crab stitch is simply a double crochet stitch. Remember in US terms that's single crochet. So it's a double crochet stitch but instead of working from uh, right to left as you normally would we're going to be working it from left to right and what that does is it gives you a nice corded firm edge which is one of the reasons why it's one of my favourite edging stitches. So what I've done is I'm just to make it more simple for you um, I'm not working I, I tend to like to start this stitch away from a corner so just somewhere along the, the uh, edge. I've started with uh, my I've attached my yarn and chained one as you normally would if you were making a double crochet stitch and now I'm ready to make my next stitch. Now instead of, as I say, working uh, from right to left, you're going to have to bend your, yard, your hook slightly and put it into the stitch on the right. And then some clever little twisting makes it all, all so much easier. So we've got the hook through. I'm going to grab the yarn by putting my hook on the top, pull it through, and finish off the stitch as you normally would by yarning over and pulling through the two loops. I'm then going to go to my next stitch along, pull the yarn through and yarn over and pull through. And my next stitch along, grab it, see the little twist that I'm doing there to make sure that it comes through. The other thing is to keep it, try and keep your tension not too tight it makes it much easier to work and it makes the stitch look fuller and I'll work one or two more and then let you see the um, look of the stitch so there we have it in twist and pull it through at the same time and yarn over and pull through. And there is the crab stitch. So it gives you, if you could feel that, it looks, it feels as if there's a cord in the, the middle of this stitch. Uh, it's really nice and firm. So it creates a really pretty, neat edge to a blanket. When you get to the corners, you would just do two of these stitches. In fact, no, I think I did three. You would just do three crab stitches around the corner and continue. So you're not making any um, chain stitches in the corner. And that is crab stitch.